All right, guys, we're getting ready to walk into Best Buy here. And I know some of you guys have had questions about the new RK One Up NBA Jam cabinet that's coming out. So just wanted to go over a few specs with you guys. Hey, Lawrence, what's going on, man? How's everything? Good. See you, brother. You too. You guys been busy? All right. It's one of the guys here. They know me perfectly well because I spend a pretty penny. So let's take a look at some of the routers we have. So one of the misconceptions that people have about internet gaming is that you always need to increase your bandwidth, your download speed, or your upload speed in order to get a bigger internet connection. And for the most part, that is true. And at the same time, that is absolutely false in a lot of regards. I want to tell you guys a story. So originally back in the early 2000s, I would say late 2000s, that's when you had, you know, your internet connections were like one megabyte up to about five megabytes or so. And a lot of times people had the, the regular Linksys routers, which were really popular at the time. However, they were not made to transfer high bandwidth signals such as HD, uh, Netflix, as far as uh, streaming. Uh, they can handle internet gameplay, which was very basic for the most part, but obviously a lot of games nowadays are high definition and whatnot. But in regards to standard uh, gaming, if you're gonna do any type of net play, and especially peer-to-peer, -peer, which is what Arcade One Up is trying to do based upon what Scott Backrock said at uh, CES, since they're not servers, which is definitely a good thing, and I have alluded to this in a previous video, if you guys watched the video I did with uh, Super King 64 uh, a while ago, it's called the WWF uh, RK One Up Cabinets and stuff. We talked about a lot of things. One of the things that you can do in order to increase your internet traffic is you need to have a router or a cable modem. I'm gonna see if any of these have it. And I don't see a listing on here, but I just want to show you guys exactly what you're going to be looking for. Uh, this is the one that I use, except mine is about four years old now. So I want to pull a few of these together just to show you guys what you can do, especially if you are in a rural area, to get better internet connection, especially with peer-to-peer uh, peer -peer gaming. Uh, let me see if this one has it. Okay, this one has it too, perfect. And let me see if I can pull another one. Do, do, do. Yeah. Okay, now some of these cable modems and routers may have it, but I'm looking for the ones that just show it directly on the box. Okay, cool, perfect, this one has it too, all right. All right, I don't see it on this one, so I'll just move this one aside for right now. Just so you guys can see what you guys are getting yourselves into. Okay, so I have three routers here in front of me. Two of them are the Airy Surfboard. This was one of the first models. This is the one that I have, or a similar model. And this is the Netgear. The first thing you guys wanna look at is something called channel bonding. Channel bonding opens up additional lanes of traffic on your home internet access. So even if you have a very dynamic router or modem that's capable of running high-speed internet access, you can still experience something called a bottleneck. So imagine you have, let's say all these routers here represent your lane of traffic and it has to come through this point of access and go all the way somewhere else to the other side of the world. Well, this little router, because it, it doesn't have something called channel bonding, is going to cause you, oh, actually this one has it too. Okay, perfect. Uh, it's going to cause a bottleneck in your network. And with peer-to-peer -peer play, your internet download speed and upload speed to the other players significantly affect the connection speed. And if, let's say, I'm watching Netflix and downloading a whole bunch of stuff at the same time, if you don't have an optimized router, the other people are going to experience some issues. Now, the problem with NBA Jam is it is what I call a fast reaction game. You have to hit the button and you're expecting an answer. It's not the kind of game where you play like Ninja Turtles or X-Men or maybe Puzzle Bobble or Tetris where 
it doesn't really matter if you experience, you know, some, a little delay in your action. But if somebody's shooting a basketball, you want to make sure that you're able to block it and so forth. So you want to have a fast reaction speed. So for example, if I press the button, I want to make sure it hits at the time I'm pressing, not hit, hit. So again, if you guys are familiar with the Toy Shock pinball machine, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about as far as delay. So if you do not have one of these routers, these are something that things that you could be experiencing. Even right now, if you guys are playing other games on Xbox or PS4. All right. So what you're looking for is something called channel bonding. And this one here has a 16 down and four upload speed uh, connection as far as channels. This is the one that I prefer. This is the one that I'm using. This one's 200 bucks. It has 32 download channels and eight upload. And this one here has 24 download. Uh, and eight upload uh, so you guys can see uh, and this is a very good diagram here I'll turn this one around as well this is a very good diagram as far as how channel bonding works so what it does is you have your internet access but it opens up different lanes of traffic directly on the cable modem or the router itself that is one of the significant things if you have this type of router uh, it, you, it will give you better channels as far as download uh, as far as upload, uh, if you're uh, streaming um, uh, Netflix or Hulu or Amazon Prime, whatever you guys are watching and you're playing internet all at the same time, it operates different channels so that way it doesn't interfere with some of the other things you may be doing at home as far as the Wi-Fi, live streaming, and other things in that nature. So that is why a device like this is very important is that it doesn't cause a, a, a bottleneck or a hiccup in your online connectivity speed while other people in your house are using it for other demanding internet connections. Now, some people may think it's just gonna be simply the Wi-Fi or the Ethernet, or maybe just you know getting a better internet package. That is not always the case. And unfortunately, back when a lot of us were internet gaming, we thought, oh yeah, I'm gonna upgrade to 25 megs down or 10 megs down back in around 2008, 2009. That's where a lot of the high definition games really started to come out and play, especially me playing Gears of War 2. I had the best internet out there possible, had a higher, uh, better uh, router and modem. And when the family was playing Netflix, everybody in the game was lagging simply because my internet traffic could not handle it. Not because of my internet connection, but simply because of the router. And if you guys are familiar with Gears of War 2 and other games that are out there, that with Xbox 360, if you were the host, your connection affected everyone, which is why I'm talking about this when you're going to refer to peer-to-peer -peer play. So if you guys are interested in uh, improving your home internet connection, or let's say you can't fully upgrade it, this is something you guys definitely want to look at to make sure that you guys are getting the best peak possible internet connection as far as internet P2P uh, gaming. Uh, possible is make sure that you get a router or make sure your current router or modem has something called channel bonding this one here has 24 by 8 my mine that I have at home has 32 by 8 which is 32 download and 8 upload so I never experienced any type of hiccup whatsoever now the other thing that I'm concerned with as far as the NBA Jam uh, network uh, peer to peer is have they tested it from LA to New York? Because those are the two furthest possible uh, point to point access protocols that you can run here in the States. Or of course, let's say Oregon to Florida, or maybe somewhere like say Florida, like Miami, Florida, or Orlando, Florida to Canada. Uh, of course, you guys do have that ability to pick and choose based upon what they said. Who are you going to play online and uh, what their internet connection may be? But again, things like this will help. Now, this particular router goes for about 200 bucks. Um, you could probably find one that's a little older that goes for about maybe $100, maybe $150. Uh, this particular one here, where did I get this one for? I think that one is uh, 119 right now. This is the Aries SBG10. Uh, I'll also have this one too at home, but I hardly ever use it. So, um, Oh yeah, this one does have it. Channel bonding, 16 by four. So that's the biggest thing you guys need to watch out for. 16 by four, that's 16 download. 
for upload as far as channels. Let's say right now, if you don't even have something like that, and you only have one channel, you're gonna experience some issues even right now if you are playing PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, or any other game. But if you even have any one of these, this will improve your overall internet connection all the way around. And another thing that you guys wanna realize, totally not RK one up related, is if you do have, uh, if you're in the chat, uh, if you're talking to your friends in a party on Xbox Live or PlayStation Network, four or five guys, each time that you're talking to somebody and you're in a party, that opens up additional lanes of traffic on your home network. You guys may not know that, but if you get out of those parties and stuff, there is a small performance increase. I know you guys really won't see it now, but I can tell you back during the DSL days and uh, uh, not cable modem, but uh, during the, D the uh, DSL days and then also the dial-up days, you would notice that if you were logged into Skype or a uh, third-party client where you could do voice over IP and you were playing at the same time, you would have a, a delay in your gameplay. Trust me, I, I've, I've been through that where I was in Skype talk, playing with some guys and I had to log out because I had a delay in my connection. But again, guys, this is what you guys want. This is what you need. This is what some of the things that obviously you haven't been looked at. And if you are concerned watching this video saying, well, Keodike and this, you know, they haven't released theirs yet, peer-to-peer -peer play has not changed. In fact, you can watch some of my previous videos as far as me when I was playing Super King, we were playing X-Men, we talked about it as far as the delay from peer-to-peer -peer if you are hosting. And there is something called host power uh, for you fellow gamers out there who know what I'm talking about. There is something called host power, but something like this would alleviate for that. Uh, the other thing I do want to mention is not all the times will your internet service provider take full use of this so even though i do have a 32 by 8 uh, channel bonding i believe currently my internet provider provides about maybe 16 or 20 uh download channels and about four i think they provide maybe two or four no i think it's maybe four the last time i checked it has been a little while four upload channels so these are even well above, in most cases, what internet service providers do offer, but you will have it. Um, if you guys need me to, I can uh, post a picture of what your internet channel bonding connections will look like. You could go to your internet uh, router settings and take a look at it, and you can actually see the traffic or the lanes that are available. In fact, all you have to do is call your ISP, whether it's Spectrum, or Cox or whoever it may be and say, hey, how many lanes of traffic do I have available? A lot of times they won't even know what the hell you're talking about because they aren't even aware about it. And I've even talked to guys who work for the company and they weren't even aware about it as far as what channel bonding is until I actually had to show them. So some of them tried to even argue with me, but it is available. Uh, this is what helps your internet connection stay stable when you're doing multiple things and multiple ta multiple multitasking watching Netflix, downloading large files, especially playing any type of HD games. And of course, this will help you guys a little bit with playing NBA Jam online when RK went up releases it. So just wanted to give you guys that little, my two cents about all of that because a lot of people are not sure uh, how all of this stuff works and with the things that you guys are, uh, the things that are capable. But pretty much, uh, and you don't have to spend 120 bucks on a router to do this. Of course, these are today's prices. So if you go on Craigslist, eBay, or some of the other places, you could probably get some of these for now for about 50 bucks. Again, I got this one, which is a uh, probably not this model. Mine is about four or five years old now. You guys could watch a previous video I did several years ago. And I'm sure the prices have dropped. It's probably 100 bucks, 120. Hey, maybe even 50 bucks or something on Craigslist. Who knows? But you will get this type of performance. So um, again, guys, just wanted to help you guys out with that and maybe help you guys understand how internet works, internet gaming and channel bonding and how peer-to-peer -peer can, um, how it's affected by the technology with channel bonding. So uh, again, guys, this is Keel Dyken. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Just wanted to bring you guys out shopping with me. These are some of the things that I talk about and these are some of the things I actually help customers with when I'm out shopping because uh, some people aren't aware of it. And so now you guys are too. So you guys have a good afternoon. I'll catch you guys later. One last thing I did forget to mention is even if you are looking on the box and it doesn't say channel bonding or 16 by whatever, or 32 by eight or whatever on the back, on the front of the box, you can actually take a look really quick on the back 
This is a Netgear AC 1200, and it will say it, uh, let's see here. Oh, here it is right here. Supports eight download and four upload channels for efficient and reliable internet access. So uh, just check the back of the box. It'll have it even if it's not listed there on the front. So, uh, or actually this one is listed on the front, but sometimes just go through, take a quick look at it. But um, it's good that you guys know this. I just wanted to make sure we share it with you because when I first started internet gaming, everybody was just like, yeah, go out and go grab a Linksys. But we weren't aware of all the efficiencies and things that you could possibly do to maximize your speed. All right, peace out.